Well, the historic houses of Fairmount Park are getting all dressed up for the holiday season. The annual tradition of decorating the homes is now in its 45th year. Starting later today, visitors will have the chance to tour the houses. Otis News reporter Jan Carabello is live at Lemon Hill Mansion with the details. Good morning, Jan. Rahel and Joe, good morning. 45 years. Isn't that incredible? That's how long that Christmas in Fairmount Park has been going on. We are getting ready for the grand opening today at 10 o'clock. We're coming to you live from Lemon Hill Mansion, where some lovely volunteers are putting on those final touches, those final preparations. They're doing a snowflake screen here, and those beautiful snowflakes were actually created by Philadelphia school children at the City School and St. Francis Xavier. So good job by all of those kids. But you know what, Joe and Rahel, I could not. I get away from doing this story without them putting me to a little bit of work myself. This is Darren Fava. He is with the Philadelphia Parks and Recreation, and he says that I need to deck the halls, so to speak. So I'm going to put a couple of ornaments here on this wreath as we talk about what people can experience here specifically at Lemon Hill Mansion. Uh, this event is a great partnership between Philadelphia Parks and Recreation and the Fairmont Park Conservancy. We work with florists, designers, garden clubs, and volunteers from across the city, and we've decorated here at Lemon Hill. This room looks um, to uh, indicate Fairmont Park, the winter wonderland, where people have come and skated, sl sledding, and sleighing yeah. for 150 years. It's not just a warm weather park. Exactly. The winter is a popular time to come here. Um, at uh, some of the other houses, we have um, the people of Philadelphia represented through silhouettes at Woodford, including children from Manda Recreation, who um, did a tree with their own silhouettes. At Laurel Hill, we have the sights and sounds of Philadelphia. Strawberry Mansion represents Philadelphia's different cultural traditions through holidays, including Kwanzaa. Um, and then at Cedar Grove, we have Philadelphia food and beer traditions with decorations that represent beer and food. And it's interesting that you're mentioning all of these. Philly specific things because this year it is a very Philly Christmas. That's this year's theme specifically. So here at Lemon Hill, what very Philly tie-ins do we have? I understand there's a Kris Kringle room. There is a Kris Kringle room for in honor of the first Santa Claus that appeared at a department store here in Philadelphia in 1841. Um, as well as our Mummers room, which um, the Mummers Museum loaned us costumes and we've decorated trees to look like uh, the Mummers costumes. Yeah, you can't miss that. And Darren, really quickly, how can people get more information? Because we have a lot of activities. A lot of special days. What's the website? Everything is at holidaysinthepark.com. That's holidays, plural, in the park.com. Yeah, you really can't miss it. It's something for everyone. Very beautiful. And it's not just for special events happening starting this weekend and next weekend, but you can tour these six beautiful mansions from today, starting at 10 through December 31st. Joe and Rahel, back into you. Sounds like a nice little fun thing to do, yeah, Jan. Absolutely.